For the next embellishment, we want to take the two one inch by 12 inch strips of purple and we are going to score these on the quarter inch all the way across. Now, I had you cut this in half. It probably would have been easier to not cut it in half and to do this all in one shot, but you know, sometimes you just don't think of these things until it is too late. I'm going to score these on the quarter inch all the way down. Okay? So every quarter inch we're going to score. You can try and butt them up and score them that way or do them separately. I will come back when everything has been scored. Okay, now that these have been scored every quarter inch, we are just going to accordion fold them all the way down. So just accordion fold. You know, don't worry too much about getting the scores super crisp at this point. You can always go over with a bone folder afterwards. I just found it was easier just to kind of weave it back and forth just like this and then give it a good press periodically and that seems to be good enough. When the stack of folds gets to be too thick, of course, you can just start a new one and just back and forth, accordion fold all the way done. And we're making two of these embellishments, which is why you have two strips. Um, if that's too much for you, <laughs> then, you know, just do the one. But they're really cute, so I think you should do two. Okay, so I'm going to go through accordion fold all these and then I will be back. Okay, so I've accordion folded both of them and again I've just really pressed them tight. That seems to make the folds crisp enough for what we need to do. We are going to take some Sukwang Be Creative tape, red line tape, whatever you got. And on the right hand side we're just going to add some adhesive to that bit. Okay? And do that on both of them. Now, the hardest part of this is going to be getting it to create the circle and keep its shape. So I'm going to show you what I came up with as the easiest way for me to do this. It's completely up to you how you want to try it. So I just have a piece of white cardstock scrap here and I'm going to cut two circles. And these, this is a one and a quarter inch circle. Okay, I also have some red line tape. This is in the sheet form and I am just going to trim this to roughly the same size of that circle. You want something super sticky. I did get it to work with liquid glue. Um, that it, it, it did work. It just required a little bit more finagling in order to get it to work the way I wanted it to. So. This is going to be easier, but you can do it um, either which way. So I'm just going to cut some circles. <laughs> That's what you want to call them. And we're just going to adhere that to the, to the circles we cut out of the cardstock. And we're going to give that a good press. Repeat on this other one. If you want to trim the excess, you can. I don't think it's really going to make that much of a difference, but if that bothers you, go ahead and do so. Then we are going to peel this adhesive off. And this is super sticky stuff, you guys. Okay, take the Suquang off the release paper off the soup queen tape and we are going to connect these okay so form a circle don't twist it just form a circle and align these two edges at the fold so align at the fold and you can see that okay and give that a good press so now we have a circle. Let's do that again. Take the release paper off. Again, hold it upright. Don't twist it. We're just going to connect the edges along the fold. So we're going to line it up on the fold of the two ends 
just like so, and then give it a good press. Okay, so we now have two circles. Here's the tricky part. <laughs> Besides getting it to adhere, you want to kind of push down. So you want to push down so that it starts to form a circle. Okay, so push down into the middle. So scrunch this together as tight as you can get it and hold it in place. Whoops, without it popping. Like I said, this is the hardest part, you guys. <laughs> Scrunch it together and hold it in place. Then you're going to take your adhesive circle and again very carefully, this is super sticky so you got to be careful. I think you almost need like an extra set of hands. And stick that in the middle and adhere that down. Okay, so just like that. This sticky tape works the best by far. If you are using liquid glue, you are going to have to hold it in place until the glue settles. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Let's try that again. Might even be easier with tweezers. Let's try it. So we've got our circle. We're going to push it in the middle, right? So your circle, you're going to just kind of collapse it in the middle and then scrunch it together as tight as it will go. Hold that in place. Take your dot. While you're holding it in place, it takes a little bit of finagling. I don't know if you guys have a better, uh, better solution, let me know below. Okay. And hold it down. Flip it over and hold it down just like so okay so now we are going to take two metal rim tags I actually like this side better than this side same with this one I like this side better just the way the folds are I prefer that so take two metal rim tags you can get these at dollar store at Office Depot Staples that kind of thing if you do not have a metal tag it looks like it's about a one and three eight inch so you could trim this out of the shimmer paper, one and three eighths, and then do a one and a quarter white on top and just layer them. We are going to turn around and glue these on top of these white circles that we already have down. Okay, and we are gonna center this to the best of our abilities. Just like so and give it a good press. That should give it a lot more stability. We're gonna do the same on this one. This is our opportunity to kind of true up the situation if we didn't put the sticker on straight in the first place. For some added stability on the rosettes, I'm punching out an extra um, circle. And we're just going to put that on the back side. I'm using a lot of liquid adhesive. Well, the other side will hold it enough in place to get things, you know, situated. I think having a circle on either side is extremely helpful. And I think the glue, well, I said the other adhesive works better. It's more, it works better for the initial setup. But I think the glue is what really allows it to solidify that makes sense. Okay, now let's get decorating. Okay, from our scraps, we're going to take the small yellow scrap that we have, and we are going to take the three punch, flower punch from Stampin' Up. Again, if you've got something different, um, it would be whatever you're substituting this image out for. And we need to trim out four of these. Okay. So one, two, three. I try and be as frugal as I can with um, my scraps so that I can get the most out of them. But at some point, if I'm satisfied with what I played with, I will get rid of them. I will recycle them. And four, that back in our scrap bin. 
<laughs> aka paper folder. We are also then going to take our bird punch and we are just using the leaf here and we need four of those and we are going to trim that out of the green. So whatever green scraps we've got in here that will work, um, perfect, right? So we're just going to trim out four of these little leaf sections. They don't have to be the same size as far as the branch is concerned. Um, we just want, it's more important for the leaves than anything else. Okay, so three and four. Okay, so for the sun sunflowers, we are going to stagger these. So we're going to lay them on top of each other. And actually, I'm just going to do two at a time. Okay, before we layer the second one on, we're just going to kind of push up these and we're just going to stagger them slightly so they offset the bottom layer in theory. <laughs> and it does not have to be precise, okay? So we've got something that looks like that. Okay, and do the same for the second set. So on the little rosettes where we have the hole from the tag, we're going to add a little bit of adhesive and that is where we're going to add the flower, just like so. And on this one, just like so. We are then going to take the green. If we need to, we're going to trim off some of the branch and we are just going to tuck this on one side. Make sure we flip it over for the other so that it kind of frames the flower. Something like that. Okay. And you can poke these up. They probably will get smushed in a scrapbook layout, but you know, it looks cute while, while we're at it. So we're just gonna repeat that again on the other one. Flip it over so we've got it oriented the other way. Tuck that in over there. So what we want to do is we want to select two of the phrases from here to add to our little embellishments. And I'll let you choose which two you wish to select. I am going to choose the first two, which are Autumn and Memories. And I'm just going to trim these out. You could use um, a paper trimmer if you want. I prefer to keep mine as close or as intact as possible until the last minute. And I'm not too concerned if I cut these out a little bit crooked. I think it just makes it look, you know, a little more casual if everything's not so precise. So I've got autumn and memories and we are just going to add that to the top. And now we need to finish these off with some gems. Or if you have sequins, something along those lines. I'm going to be using these um, rhinestone gems or whatever you want to call them from Bead Design Co. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. And I am going to be using two of these middle size ones for the centers of the flower. And then we're going to use some of these smaller ones just to add some accents. And I think two per will work. So again, with our glue, we're going to add some to the center of the flower. And then we're just going to add a couple 
up. If you have any other rhinestones, of course, go ahead and use what you have. Don't feel like you have to go out and get these. I'd much rather you use what's in your stash than go out and purchase a whole bunch of more product. Okay, so that's what they look like. Aren't those cute? I think they're cute. Okay, those two are done. Let's move on to the next set.